Hello everybody, it is Saturday and I had plans. I got up, got dressed, I always get dressed. I never stay in my pajamas for very long unless I'm really, really sick. So I like to get up, get dressed and get going, even if I'm staying in. And I had plans to go into the story share today and get some work done and getting some things photography, photographed. <laughs> and I'm not going because it's really horrible and wet. Now, for those who don't know me, I am Nelly. I live in a bus with my family. So four kids, four grandkids, sometimes extras, two dogs and a puppy and a cat and two birds and my husband. Husband's away, he had to drop some kids off at Yamba. Other, my other child is away, she's supposed to be working this weekend, that's being called off hopefully tomorrow. She'll be happy to work. But anyway, I'm a full-time reseller. I list every day, I try and find things as often as I can and other stories shared because nothing will fit in this bus anymore. If this is the sort of stuff you like to see, if you like to see adventures on the road or me going to find things or sharing what I have, please press that button be below, which will help me a lot. Also press like if you can and messages, um, comments, I love those the most. So, what have I done today? Well, I've sort of, I've gotten up and I've cleaned up the mess that kids decide to make for me, as they do. Yes, they do little bits, but sometimes you just got to do it yourself. And it's 12.30 now, and I have been listing. I've been drafting all morning. I have a whole heap of, had a whole heap of photos ready to go. Thankfully, I took a heap the other day, and I have been just drafting them up onto my eBay site. And I have six more items to list today, because I'm going for the 15. If you saw yesterday's video, later in the video, you would have seen my little list of I'm going to be listing 15 a day, I'm going to calculate how much those items cost me and then I'm going to calculate how much I've got them listed for. Now this morning I've only had two small sales, I think two, I think two small sales which is great. I've had one person say their item hasn't arrived, lovely person came to me first and we sorted that out, it is on its way, it's still on its way, I just had one number wrong in my tracking. So. He's, he's happy with that. And um, what else am I doing? I'm going to get stuck in. Last night I spent eight hours just doing June's paperwork. <laughs> Look, this is my bag of receipts for the last year because I'm so slack because I put all that sort of stuff on. So I have started last night with June and I'm going to keep up from July onwards. I'm going to do it every day when I sell or when I buy new stuff. It'll be put straight down. I'm not doing this again. And I did all June, oh God, I did June last night the most, most much as I could. I've still got lots, a few more to add to it, and I just realised some things I haven't added to it, to it either. So I'm going to do that today. I hope you're all well. There was a garage sale in town, but I decided not to. It's too wet and cold out there. So yeah, I'm all dressed up. Got my jeans, boots, jumper, and I'm ready. So this is what I do. I still go to work. Still get dressed up every morning to go to work. Anyway, I wasn't going to do any more of these vlog videos. So I thought, you know what? It's good for me to be able to look back on as well because it sort of saves me having to write everything down. So I'm going to keep doing it, um, but I might not release it as often, I don't know. But anyway, just wanted to let you know what I'm doing and what I'm doing with my business. My business is going every day. I want to be at a point where I don't have to... Everything's running smoothly, and at the moment it's not running smoothly. It's agitating me, especially this bag of receipts. So I'm going to get that stuck into that. Anyway, that's all, guys. Hope you had a good day. Hope you find some treasures, and I will see you next time I add to this blog, which will be in a minute for you. And who knows, this one will be for me. Take care. Bye. Hello, happy Sunday everybody. It is the most glorious day after two horrible days. I didn't want to leave the bus because it's so horrible. It's a beautiful day today, absolutely. And it's 12 o'clock. I slept until 5 to 10. I, I kept waking up all morning, but I kept, you know that feeling when you get so tired and you're so dozed out? I kept going back to sleep, so I was obviously needing it. Um, so yeah, 5 to 10 I got up and I walked down the hallway. As I was walking down the hallway, all the other kids from Evans Head arrived. I don't, and then my granddaughter, 21 year old, slipped down the stairs on the puppy pad mat and I think broke her toe. So she's at now at the, the hospital with the boyfriend getting x-rays. In my life. Okay, so I've just gone to Macca's for kids. I'm never, I told them they're not having any more freaking takeaway this, this week. It's so expensive. Like it used to be cheap and quick. Now it's expensive and slow. So, so that's it, no more takeaway this week. And uh, yeah, I am off to the shed because I have to pick up about 12 items I think I sold since Saturday, Friday. So I'm gonna pick up all that and then I'm going to take photos of 24 items, hopefully. 
husband slipped over on the road, didn't slip, but twisted his back. What else? It's just slippery on the road up there. So he's twisted his back, so he's lying down again. Um, kids can all stay in the road. Well. I just want them all out, but oh my goodness. <laughs> I, I've, got, I've got to get out, and there's two, one still missing. So when he gets home, it'll be even more funner. That's such a word. But anyway, I'm off to the shed. So I'm going to stay positive. I'm off to the shed. I'm going to get grab 24 items I can take photos of. Fortunately for me, I had enough the last two days in my backup pile of drafts that I got away with not having to do any more photos. Mind you, I can pull stuff out of my bus, as you know I'm going to do soon, to find things. But I didn't have to do that. So I was able to... I think I've got two more to do today. I've got to find two more things for today. So I've got a list... I'm going to take photos of about 26 items. If not, I'll get half that done. So that's fine. And I'll come back tomorrow and get some more. But yeah, never any rest for the wicked. And I have got goals to reach and things, places to go and houses to buy. Land to buy. Cars to buy. So my car loan is going, my car, my car savings, I just realised I had, my mother had given me some money a few months ago for myself and I've been hang, handing it out to the family as I do and I'm going to pull it back in from our own private money that comes in I'm going to pull that out from my husband's pension and whatnot put it back into my coffer my car coffer and I am yeah I'm going to do that so I'll have a bit more money to put away so I'm going to put my mum's but my mum gave me I'll probably put that into my car funds too I'd say I think at this moment so around about six hundred dollars worth is there as well so yeah I'm just really pulling stuff from everywhere I can um, to make money. I'll let you know probably on Wednesday what my, how much I've got in my car kitty um, by now. So with more to come. I haven't even withdrawn the last couple of weeks and this week will be 300 Including this week and the last two weeks it's $300 I can put in there. So I've got about, what have I got? Oh no, I'll tell you Wednesday. <laughs> I'll tell you Wednesday. I'll see you soon. Hello everybody. It is 2.30 and this is what I've done. It doesn't look like much but it's actually quite a lot there. That's what I've done so far. I've got all those photographed so to be listed to go into my drafts to be listed but i am making a bit of headway on excuse that mess um this is this is now a little bit a little bit less but still a lot there and i'll probably end up culling a lot and taking some to the op shop i think donating taking that for my tax tax next year because you know you can do that um so that's it i've got books to go there but i'm going to show you what i did because me with my add ADHD brain. I'm focused when I'm focused, but as soon as that focus is broken, well, I'll go and do something completely different, which was go and put a book up here, and then I ended up tidying up all the books in proper alphabetical order. <laughs> so that's my adult books right through there. Okay. And this stuff here, I've really got to get into, sell locally, or have a market stall, or if someone has a garage sale, I could join in. And I've still got to, this is sort of semi-organised at kids' books, but I've still got to sort out the top ones. And my DVDs are pretty good at the moment. It is kind of embarrassing sharing my mess, but you know what? I have no OCD in me. Like, I have to a point, like, I want things to be in order, but I can't tidy things. Like, some people can come and make everything look really good. I'm sure someone would if they if I paid them to do it. But being a tight what I am, I will do it myself. I will get there. So what I'm doing, I've got a box of, hang on, this here here, right here is all the stuff I've I've collected off the shelves. So I've got a pack, including something on the floor. It's in a box. So I've got to pack all that. Take home, pack all that. But this box here is what I aim on doing today. That box has got clothes and sheets and stuff like that in it. That's what I hope to do. Uh, probably the lace tablecloth that's over next to me and possibly Mr. Men if I get the energy. So there'll be a lot more that I am listing today. P.S. The granddaughter's toe is not broken, just very badly bruised. She did fall on it, thankfully. People are going past now. Um, yeah, I saw it happen. It was horrible. But anyway, her foot's okay. She's gone home now. I mean, it's sore, but okay. Um, I was going to say something completely different. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go because my brain is not working. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Hi again, it's 4.12 now, I am done. The boys want me to pick them up because they had to walk to the park and their sister took the bikes, blah, blah, blah. So that's where I'm heading now to pick up kids. Fortunately, we, where, where they are, where we are, it's walking distance to town, it's walking to the skate park, it's walking distance to the park, play park, so it's really good there. I'm exhausted, but I'm still accomplished because I've got so many things, um, I think I've got about 
oh, maybe a 35 or so items um, list, not listed, photographed. Or just something. Hang on for a second. I've got to just open this stem. I'm too lazy to walk, so I get as close as I can to the to the buzzer. Hang on. Ah, <laughs> oh, oh. I've got to press. Oh, well, I didn't press pause. Anyway, so yeah, I'm lazy, so I drop park this close. I've only hit the wall twice now with the bumper bar. Very softly though. Um, yeah, the gate is. Um, the position of that is just stupid. It's probably the hardest one I've ever got to with all the storage sheds I've ever been to. It's probably the most awkward one and the stupid spot for it too. Because you can only go one way, but they've got the one way. It's only they've got the thing way over there. So anyway, but you know, I feel accomplished. I listen to um, daily refinement while I'm working. I found him quite arrogant. I know I don't know if you guys, but I found him quite arrogant at first when I started listening to him. And I mean, probably he's a little bit to me. But that's my personality. Like our personalities probably just don't match up. But I don't think he's that bad. And I now I'm ready to listen because I want to up my game a bit with my business. Um, he's got so much knowledge and so many tips that you can we can use in our business. So if you haven't listened to daily refinement, go and do it. I would love to have something similar to listen to in Australia actually. I would love to be that person who has that much knowledge. Another one is the auction professor. He has a great deal of knowledge of eBay and sales and um, a lot of vintage this sort of stuff as well. And uh, Dr. Laurie, I think she's good with uh, vintage, all sorts of stuff if that's what you're into. But to, in, in the way of eBay, doc, uh, professor, uh, auction professor is good. Um, Prime Treasure Hunter is good. And Data Refinement and his podcast with Techno Sports. It's good to listen to. It can go on for quite a while, but it's still good to listen to. And that's what I do when I'm in the shed. I would love to be able to teach and help other people, but I've still got to learn everything all on my own yet. Well, on my own, you know what I mean? I've got to learn it all yet. Anyway, that's it for now. I may say goodbye after. I've got um, that stuff there. It's all the stuff I haven't packed. I was too busy sorting and taking photos. So I've got to pack all that ready for tomorrow um, and I've got a heap of clothes that I've taken photos of that I've got to measure so yeah it's non-stop then I'm gonna go home and put my, my jewelry that I've already listed I don't list my jewelry on um, house collecting I usually do it on the brooch queens if you're not with the brooch queens yet it's met my sister and I's group uh, we both have a lot of jewelry we've dealt with offload she buys and sells it I've got a lot in my collection I want to get rid of so and all the funds that we get there go to our things she goes towards her home and mine goes towards my future car so any support that'll be great now don't forget I've got all those awesome stickers still I'm, you know I've got so many ideas in my head I would like to come someone to um, get a website started with my stickers and my shirts and stuff like that on it so you guys can buy it when you want to I don't know. I've got so many ideas. I just, I'm just got no time to do it all. It's my problem. I mean, I want to, yeah, just, oh, I'd love to have a booth. I'd love to have a booth to put all my vintage stuff on in while I still do what I do. I would love to own a shop, but it's not going to happen anytime soon. So I've got to focus on one thing at a time. But I've got so many little bitsy pieces that, that um, are all vintage, and I would love to actually have a booth to put those in, and including my clothing as well. We'll see, we'll see. There's one there's a place here that does it, but I'm not really wrapped with the way it's set up, so yeah, I've got to find somewhere that does it better or well, that I like it. I don't know, anyway. Uh, or else I've got to get up early and go to the auction, the markets, which I don't want to do. That's another thing I want to do. I'd love to um, buy storage units for vending machines. Oh, I've got so many other ideas in my head. I also like to create things to make money out of my creations. <laughs> Oh, one thing at a time, woman. All right, well, I'm going to go up often enough. I'll see you in a minute or tomorrow. I'm home. I was going to tell you something so wonderful. I forgot what it was. It must have been that wonderful. Anyway, thank you for being here. All my people that watch me all the time, thank you, even if it gets boring. Um, I'm just in the process of wrapping and everything at the moment, and I just turned the car around because guess what? I'm sitting in mud after yesterday and today's rain. It is mud all through here. Everything else is drying out, but this section, because it's only trees, you can't get any sun. So our bus has got no sun. And I've just turned the car around. The kids have got their bikes. They've actually put gravel right next to our bus door, which is better than mud. But the kids put their bikes right where I want to put the car. So annoyed at the moment. But I can't remember what I was going to tell you, but I'll see you tomorrow in a minute.
Bye. Yeah, I, I did it again, guys. I forgot to press record. I don't know what's wrong with my brain, but I've talked to you for the last five minutes or so. Okay, it is late. It's 10 11. I slept in because I was so dang dog dang dang no dang 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 I had a rough morning, slept okay, and I was up and down a few times. And the dog and the cat, the cat wanting food, and the dog barking woke me up this morning. And I, um, got people next to me now. And I, um, it's more like driving when I talk, so no one's around me. Anyway, so then I had, uh, I haven't even cleaned, I've just had a cup of tea, got dressed, husband wants to go to the swimming pool, heated swimming pool. So I've taken him to the heated swimming pool, and I'm going to do the op shops on this side of town. There's only one. My favourite one's shut, but I'm going to go probably this one and one other. Maybe. Maybe not. Just probably this one, I think. So it depends on what time I get. Then I'm going to race it back over the other side, pick up the grandson who forgets that everyone has got a two legs and a heartbeat to do stuff and drop him off at the bus. Then I'm going to race back here and get my husband and take him back to the bus. <laughs> then I'm going to go. First, I want to get treasures, but then I'm going to go to the shed and pick up the rest of the stuff I've sold last night and this morning because I sold about three or four things last night and one this morning so far. Um, finish wrapping this one, wrap those, take another 20 photos of everything. Now last night I went to sleep drafting. I got three drafted out of 41 because I was so so damn tired. <laughs> so I've got three drafted out of 41 and I've got to go and draft another 12 for today. No, whatever. Yeah, 12, 30, 40, 50. That's right, 12 more for the day in my math. Um, but first off, let's go and do the important thing. Let's go hit this op shop up first. My apologies right now because of my camera skills are terrible. I'm still, 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 still trying to work out how to use my camera when I'm in shops and what you can see now what i was looking at here was a wee compatible some sort of fat burner type yoga mat system for ten dollars couldn't find the information on it had a particular brand couldn't, and i just thought you know what all it's going to be is something bulky for my shed i mean i could have probably used it later but i thought no now the rest of the stuff as you saw two dollars all the shirts so let's watch that Well, I spent $39.50 and I will show you as soon as I get back to the shed because right now we're going to go pick up the teenager because once again, two legs and a heartbeat don't seem to work as well as it used to and I'm too soft, I know that. Anyway, so I'm going to go there. There was nothing that I can go, whoa, there was nothing like that, but there was lots of bits and pieces. Some I got for the kids, but I'll show you everything mostly everything when I get to the other end that I'm going to be selling and uh, I don't know how much footage you got I tried to do some footage for you in the shop it is really really hard unless you've got two devices going at one go like I would like to be aware of GoPro but it's so awkward I got this big thing sticking on my chest and I said I don't carry a hand what I need is a little mini brooch thing a little necklace with a camera inside it then it won't look so weird and obvious but anyway yeah it's really hard when you're doing videos in shops because we need to look up prices as well, like, you know, check out your eBay prices and stuff and see if something's worth getting. A couple of things I couldn't find, but I got it. Is that my op shop's favourite op shop's not open today because it gives me an excuse to come back here. Well, I can't tomorrow, I won't have a car again. But I'm sure it's Wednesday, I can come back here. Yeah, okay, I'll sort you soon. I thought I'd just take you across the, the old bridge. You went across the new bridge the other day. So I'm going to take you across the old bridge today. 
this is the only bridge they had it until about I think three years ago. It's the only bridge they had coming across to Grafton. It's all the semi trailers and all the rest of it. Now bus with the trailer on it used to have to come across here and caravans and all the rest of it. So check this out guys, you haven't been to Grafton before. This is the old bridge. Who thought it was a good idea to put corners in the bridge? I don't know. But yeah, this is the old bridge. Now the border I can show you and I may have shown you during the floods. If you see that building that's down there, that was to its roof <coughs> when the floods were on. You might get a glimpse of it through these. Yeah, see so you can see that big white building at the very bottom. That was up to its roof, I think maybe even above its roof when the floods were on. And that is a I need my own car so so bad so I've done I've dropped the two kids off at the bus and then the other three kids wanted to get food at Coles so I brought them back here but guess what Coles is right next to Salvo's so that's what I'm going to do right now I'm going to go into Salvo's and see what treasures I can find because you know I need more treasures it's an addiction guys but it's a good addiction it's addiction that you can make money on so I don't mind at all but let's go see what we get in here These 2022 calendars are a dollar each, so if you're into the Geelong cats or whatever, lions or whatever this last one is, the giants, they're only a dollar each and I can get it for you. I don't know what postage it'll be, but if you want them, let me know. So I've gone in for salvos and got nothing. Now, I don't know how much you're going to see. I'm trying to do video for you guys because I know a lot of you people love to watch what we find in shops and I've found nothing. Nothing! There was some old fabric there, like vintage fabric for $2.50. I just uh, didn't want to just buy one thing and maybe not sell it. Anyway, I'm getting fussy, I think. Anyway, so I'm going out now with salvos there. They have one way in, right? The car, Coles car park is right next to it, but they have one way in and one way road. Anyway, at the end of that road, they had this door open where you donate stuff at the shop, which is great, great idea, until someone breaks down. <laughs> so we all had to back out of there, and I hate backing anyway, I hate backing, hate it, hate it so much. <laughs> my my granddaughter's boyfriend said to go, you nearly got the wall. I go, well, thanks for telling me after I nearly got the wall. He goes, oh no, I saw it at the same time as you. It's quite funny. But anyway, had to be there. But yeah, so that was a bit of a pain in the neck. So I've dropped those two off at the bus with all their food and everything. Now I'm off because my husband's waiting for me because he got dressed and then called me to say he's ready. So he's been waiting like 15 minutes. And I've just said to him, in future, tell me when you're getting changed and I'll come and get you there. This is my life, guys. This is me trying to do my business in between all the other bits. And my husband often wanting the car too. And I'm trying to do it all at once. So I'm sort of saving fuel. And doesn't always work out right. So I've done all the op shops I want to do today. I won't be op shopping tomorrow. And by the time you see this, will I have shown you? No, I'll show you when I come. I'm still getting to the shed. I'll still get to the shed to get my stuff together. And then I'll show you what I got at the op shop today. That's what we'll do. Okay, so we'll, watch. we'll do that shortly. So I've just got back to the bus. I'm heading to my shed, finally. Now, always carry one of these with you guys. Got it, my, tell me how to keep my nails clean when they're really short because I can't. Okay, for this book you have to have it when you when you tra when you're going to where the vehicle log book in when you're going to the op shops or wherever. Now I was really stuck with it the last financial year and only put it in a bits of pieces of time. Now I'm writing in every day. What I do is I, when I finish for the day I stick it in my steering wheel so I don't forget. I told my husband when he uses the car stick it in the steering wheel so I don't forget. Keep that. I just want to jump on here really quickly. I've got my bread roll the kids made me. Ugh, sauce everywhere. I've got a drink. Off to the shed. 
Now I told the kids this morning before I left to drop the husband off to make sure the bus is tidy. I've not been in it so I don't know but he hasn't told me it's not. It's not he it hasn't told me it's messy so hopefully I'll get home this afternoon and it's tidy. But I just want to say thank you to the people that support me not only on the on here on the on the uh, channel but also via Facebook if you're not a friend of mine you can be it's quite easy just ask me who I am on there um, and yet yeah, one one left sent, sent me a beautiful message this morning I loved it. it made me smile I've got another one that's really supportive always message me and give me tips and hints on how to improve everything thank you you know who you both are you both start with M and Actually, there's three of you that start with M, that you're all very supportive, and there's another one that starts with E. Now, if I've forgotten anyone, I'm sorry, but those three are always messaging me, asking different questions or giving me support, and I want to say thank you because that means a lot. And I think that's what we all need to do more of, is just support each other. I know with me, having a small channel is frustrating, but I also know that people that I have following me, subscribed to me, are really solid people that you know, always come back. So, And all of you, that I know there's a couple of you that have been with me right from the very, very beginning of this YouTube channel, like a few years ago when I wasn't even doing it properly and when I was actually traveling around Australia. You guys are awesome as well because you've stuck with me all this time, even with during the months of nothing happening. But you've always been here and you're always commenting. I want to say thank you to you guys too. Anyway, my daughter is at work. She's messaged me to say she's on the hop on the height on the top of the highest wind turbine in Australia up in Chinchilla so if you live up near Chinchilla and you see those turbines and I know a lot of people don't like them she's up at the top of that she's not supposed to be up there but her partner's away at the moment he usually goes up there yeah here we go the camera's gonna muck up again anyway she's right up the very top I haven't got all that her partner's away and um for the week and so she's having to do all the top work instead of the ground work in the back but anyway she's up the top there freezing there she says it's not sunny up there at the moment and it's really really cold because being the top at top 200 meters i don't know something ridiculous but anyway she's up there no i have to ask her how many meters i'm probably here if i remember but anyway i'm off to the shed i'm going to stop waffling and i'm going to see you in a minute and show you what i got today so i'm at the office and i'm not getting out of the car yet because it's cold out there <laughs> my bag of goodies I got this is the $35 worth was it $35? I think it was $34.90 anyway whatever I said before okay. what did I get? did I get books? maybe I got a leather belt for my one of my grandkids there's always someone looking for belts and I love buying I don't even buy leather belts nothing else so kids stuff some material for my granddaughter who's sewing more material for her for, for her sewing. I don't know how much I paid for that. I can't even say. Anyway, the shop can pay for it all. Some shorts for my grandson who likes surfing. And now we're getting into the funner stuff. All right? Funner stuff. Stuff that I said I wasn't going to buy. If I ever say never, I never. Just don't take notice of that never, okay? I got these sheets. Now, apparently, these are vintage sheets, but they've been stored away. And I've got a few. You're going to have to deal with this stopping and starting. I'll turn it off in a second and delete some of the stuff on it. But these are vintage sheets that have actually have got marks on it from sticky tape. So they've never been used. It says new single sheet set. A few sticky tape marks from storage. So they've never been used. So I'll be able to use those. Um, two bucks. Two bucks for some really good quality sheets. Will I sell them? I don't think so. I think I'm going to keep them for us. Because we're always after sheets. I think. Depends. Depends how much I can... I'll Google first to see how much they're worth, right? Then I'll do that. Now, I got books because I always get books. These are kids' books, which I don't need. I need like a hole in the head, but they are seri series. I've got the Billy series, which I've got a few of those. So I'll put them together with that. And then I've got a new series called Sophie and the whole lot. And I saw someone sell them for about $21.95. I think I'm going to have to divide all this stuff up to the price I've paid. And I can divide it, work out what I paid for them all. And I'll pop it up here for you to see. What else? Oh, there's more of those books, more books, more books, more books. Now, like I said, there's nothing super exciting here. You might have seen some bits of it in my video. I don't know. I ended up getting this for my husband to wear in summer. Or for the kids, somebody. Um, I ended up getting, um, oh, what did I get? I got something else from one of the other grand. Yeah, the, the Mr. That ends right into surfing at the moment. So I got him a tea. So that's good. They're only $2 each too. If you saw that on the thingy on the video if it came through and I end up getting a heap of t-shirts I got this one <laughs> my timing is getting shorter my timing is getting shorter and shorter uh, wallabies captains 
shirt like as in 2003 maybe i'll sell some sell that for something hopefully i'll beat this timer um this really cool rebel raceway shirt it's a really good one you see that i don't know if you saw this is oh, this is ridiculous okay okay i've just deleted i've just i did a whole heap of them that was really short so i've gone back got rid of a heap of stuff off my phone and i'm going to go back to where i was up to which was this and then i forgot to press play and i'm talking to you for nothing okay this raceway shirt is what you saw last right two bucks then i picked up i don't know if i picked it up then but i picked it up somewhere <laughs> during this time uh the west coast eagles t-shirt afl t-shirt like that two bucks now my grandson he's 11 wants to do he wanted to do basketball desperately and i'm going to get him to start in basketball now he wants to do rugby but i think it's too late in the season or some such i don't know anyway hopefully he'll just go back to basketball because it's a lot less not as savage but anyway i've got to work all that out for him today keep him busy because he's going to be my next mischievous one okay i got this orange shirt i only got it because it's very sort of 2000s looking and it's a pacific cliff and i think yeah i don't know but i thought it was really bright and colorful and someone will like it who wants to stand out and it's also a size large and it was only two dollars so all the shirts were only two dollars each and i think i showed you all the other stuff and then i got also um two vintage dresses believe it or not she'd only just put them out and they're not the vintage I would like to be able to buy. I want to buy, you know, the really old pretty stuff. But this is actually, someone's going to love them because it's a 19, late 1970s to early 80s dress. So I don't know if you can see that very well. I know it's ugly to most of you guys, but I'm really, I'm always attracted to the old vintage fashion stuff. And as you know, most of you, I have a huge collection. It's a Delina and I've always, I sell Delinas quite well. Um, quite a big collection of vintage clothing. Well, one day I hope to show you it's up in storage up north. For those who are new here, I have a store. I have my a lot of stuff up in storage that I can actually. I won't need to op shop for a long, long time once I get to it. But until we get a house or a huge shed, or we'll know where we're going to move to, I just got to stay up there. Um, this is another one, another vintage late seventies, early eighties dress, polyester. Otina. I haven't actually never heard of that brand, so that's a new brand to me. New label. Really down. It wasn't like it wasn't the bestest of. It was the only one that gave me any stuff today for a start because I went to three um, and it wasn't the best one I've ever been to. I got a Bendigo, Bendigo Bank. This is, must be an old, there's not even any QR codes or anything. So it's just like little, it's a Bendigo Bank, um, little juggling balls. So I'll have a look at that. Otherwise, Mr. 11 will get it and start juggling or I can, st I can learn to juggle maybe. I don't know, but I thought that was, it was only like 50 cents. It didn't matter. It didn't break my bank shoelaces because yeah because they're always breaking their shoelaces now i'm going to show you these first because this is something else i say i'm not going to buy right but but i got war of the worlds oh, there's something i didn't get show you the other day the other day i was in um i was in um op shop in in mclean and i picked up this little miniature I've never seen one before. It's a little DVD player. Like it's got a screen and it stands up like a little TV and it's got a screen on it and all the attachments, all plastic, coat, like everything in plastic still for $15 because I the business paid for it because that way I can test my DVDs or if anyone wants to watch something. So I end up getting War of the Worlds for the kids to watch because I like that movie. But I also got... Now, for many of us back in the day, you may have remembered watching this movie. Harp in the South. Beautiful old Australian movie. I loved it. I think I'm going to watch it again. Um, but it also had Poor Man's Orange, which was the sequel to it. So I, I'm pretty sure I've read the books because I'm a big book reader as well. Um, but do you remember watching these guys? And if you haven't, if you're younger and you haven't watched it, it's probably a pretty good movie to watch. It's, it's yeah, it was a good movie. It was about Sydney area where, you know, I think Paddington or something where it wasn't the place to live back in the day surrey hills which yeah now it's quite well sought after i think but anyway beautiful story sad story but very um you know the historical sort of value of the clothing and everything like that and the era that they were living in and how they were dealing with things in that in that era just after the second world war i think 
I don't know. It was slummy area. It was the slums back in the day anyway. So I got those because I want to watch them again on my little special machine. Then I saw these. Now these, all the DVDs were only a dollar each, okay? And I, I'm trying to pull away from buying DVDs to resell because I'm scared in case, unless they're sealed, but also because they bore me stupid. But I did get Cheech and Chong. <laughs> these I will be selling. Cheech and Chong. I mean, I might see if my husband wants to watch them first. He probably will because it's bringing back memories for him as well. But Cheech and Chong. I mean, if you don't know who Cheech and Chong is, you better go look it up. To be honest, I probably have never watched any of their movies. I just know who they are. So, okay. And because you know I love I love buying old games, I bought this one. Now, I have never heard of it, seen it. It looks like something from the 60s or 70s. It's called The Hopping Game. Now, it did cost me $2, but I'm curious. It's got to see if it's all the parts are in there. But apparently you've got to try and bounce with this machine. You've got to try and get them into the little slot things there. Have you ever seen this game, the hopping game? And for those who don't know me well, I love finding old vintage games. I love selling memories. It's one of my things I love to sell. And this. Never seen it, heard of it, or anything like that. But it's called Things. I think the person that sent put all this in must be from the same, like must have come from the same place. So, yeah, um, things, it looks like something, it's got a QR thingy, but it looks like an older one, back when we were growing up, we saw them. I actually remember, I don't know about you, but I remember asking my mother when I was a teenager what they were for, she, says, she said to me, something for the future, they're going to be using those, not in the future now. Okay, so yeah, I, I'm going to open this, but it was originally $12.99 down to $10 from Big, uh, Big W, the old Big W label. It looks like it's been played with a fair bit, but that's what it is. That's all it is. I don't know what it is. It's got something in there. Have you seen anything like it? Will I sell this memory? We will see. We will see if this memory will sell. I think you've got to pull something and throw something. Yeah, okay. It's a Milton Bradley game. Anyway, so I thought that's pretty cool. Something different. And that's it. That's all i got in my bag. My bag is now empty. But I hope you enjoyed that little, what did I buy now? video i am now going to go into the shed get all that sorted and then i'm going to get this video edited so you can guys can watch it later this evening and like some of my friends always said they watch it at dinner time who was that thank you <laughs> it was nice to be coming to your place at dinner time and having dinner with you <laughs> so anyway guys once again i want to thank all of you who support my channel it is growing slowly it will get there i'll get to a thousand somehow just like i'm going to get to thousand dollars soon for my car future car that's it all right i'll talk to you soon if there's nothing else i will see you tomorrow no i won't i won't see you till wednesday otherwise i'll see you in a minute if there's something else i want to tell you it's five to two it's five to two i have not got any photos done yet i have packaged up all this stuff from yesterday and today which we're going to get to the post office shortly I have not taken any photos. As soon as I package up everything, I got everything like the last three things packaged that I sold yesterday. Get out of the car, check my eBay, and I'd sold more. So I had to go and pack, collect that, package that up, plus collect the stuff that I've sold and counter offered on. Quick question to you guys. One day I'm going to have this awesome office, I won't be embarrassed, but right now, see this. This is an, R an, an RL jumper jersey i got a while ago a few months back at um ballina salvos one dollar right now i've got 155 dollars on that and i just got uh, offered 85 and oh, so much in doubt so much in doubt so i, I asked the question on, on our australian resellers group and both of them said just to wait what would you have done would you have taken the 85 dollars because i only paid a dollar or knowing because inside myself i thought i can get more for that than that and i'm not in need of that money right now so would you have sold that jumper that jersey for 85 or are you like me i'm gonna hold out for a little bit more let me know it's only it's only 2:35. not long after i spoke to you last i took as many photos as i could but i am freezing it is so cold from yesterday to today is so opposite Polar, polar, polar temperature apart. So why am I leaving? Because I'm frozen. One, two, I think my battery's going to run out of my phone very soon if I keep taking photos. Two and three, Miss 16 just called me to say we've got to take Miss Gypsy, our dog, to the vet. Every couple of years or so she ends up with this big rash. Oh, she starts nibbling the side of her leg. 
right? And over the weekend she was nibbling it quite a lot. And it's gotten so bad she can hardly get up the steps. So I've got to go home, get my dog, put her in the back of the car somehow. Hopefully she can still jump up and get her to the vet to get some medication for it. So yeah, that's it for now. I'll see you in a minute. And just so you know, I only got to about 10 items and they're, oh, it's just too cold. <laughs> just too cold. I got um, eight of the new items that I got today, things I want to sell. And I got well, all my country practice taking photos of that. Got so much stuff. Here, right next to me, is all the stuff I've got to measure. All the clothing, the tablecloth that I've got to measure. I took a table photo of the big tablecloth I've got, the lace one, and a little toy that I had already got it drafted with no photos for. So, so what's that? 13, 8, 10, 9, 10. So, 11 or 12 I got, so my 15 or 20 that I wanted to do, but my nose is so cold it's running, so it's freezing out there. So, yeah, that's enough. I've got like 50, 50 odd items to my drafts, at the, well I have 50 odd items in my drafts, 40 odd after I do today, so listing, so yeah, I'll get my listing done after I've got this dog done and I'll measure all this stuff my hope and dream is to get to where I'm only working 4 hours a day, 9 to 1 at the most not on weekends at all, I'll just have some stuff drafted for weekends, so I can just click, click, click um, yeah, and have weekends off, that's what I want to do but at the moment, I really want to up my game I don't want to be this pretend reseller just doing it for a hobby I'm, I'm being serious with this I've got to get this car of my own and then I've got to get the kids I should probably get the kids in the house first but I need to get the car of my own because having the one car is just painful and we used to always have two cars so that's my biggest thing at the moment is getting the extra car and then getting somewhere to live doing both at the same time, who knows don't drink but cheers today I could do with a really good rum and coke or something okay it is now I don't even know what time it is I'll tell you in a second it is 4.44 and I still haven't got to the post office just yelled at the kids because they put their bikes exactly where I shifted them from before anyway I've been to the vet it cost $245 something like that luckily I have savings and luckily I have insurance on all my everything we have and own and everything so I've got to just ring up Woolies after, get them, give them the number, blah blah, and get some of my most of my money back. They've moved their bikes, they're lucky because I told them I'd run over with them when I get back. I want to put my car in a proper spot. So I'm racing to the post office with 15 minutes to spare. <sighs> Gotta go back to the vets on the Wednesday with the other puppy to get all his stuff done, microchipping, etc. etc. Miss 16 is desperately wanting to do vet vet um, assistant work. And I just asked them about that. She wants to do animal studies, and that's what they said. As soon as she gets an animal studies course started, she can actually go do some work experience there. So that's good. So I've got to get that organised today. So I've got to get post office done, all that stuff in the back, if you can see it all there, right? All that. Post office. Then I'm going to ring up Woolies to get my number back so I can ring the vet up, which I probably won't be able to get there in time today because I'll be shut, to give them my quote number, thingy, policy number. And then I'm going to try and ring the tape, which I'm going to have time to do. I'll have to do that tomorrow to get her booked in to do her animal studies. That's it so far. Let's go and get this posting done. It's only, it's only just after five. I've just got out of the post office that puts Bob 10. That poor lady who caught me, it was so busy in there. And I had all these all these passes and one of the passes wouldn't work properly because she's training. And I'm like, yeah, anyway, that was me. So I'm going home now. I'm going to try and ring up the people I've got to ring up, one person particularly, and I'm going to edit this video. I've got half edited, I'm going to finish the rest. So I will see you on Wednesday for What's Sold, and I thank you for watching this whole dramatic weekend, what is, weekend and day with me. See you next time. Bye! <laughs>